So a lot of time we think about treating cancer when you have an advanced disease, which is, uh, which is always hard. Uh, but if you understand the process of this happening in the beginning, we can start to try to intercept cancer formation. What we found is that once you demethylate the DNA, so remove the methylation marks, uh, you activate a lot of uh, transposable elements, uh, such as endogenous heterovirus. And the cell sense this as a viral infection. So it looks like to the cell that it's infected by a viral, and they activate a very strong antiviral response. Uh, so we named this in 2015 as viral mimicry. We can pharmacologically manipulate this, induce a strong antiviral response, and perhaps combine this with immune therapy to have a stronger uh, antitumoral therapy. It, it changes a, a lot how we think about uh, cancer initiation. Uh, it shows a very strong unappreciated tumor suppressor mechanism, perhaps a, a hallmark of cancer to need to escape this viral mimic response. Uh, and if you can avoid this escape, we can intercept cancer formation. My name is Daniel De Carvalho. I'm a senior scientist at Princess Margaret Cancer Center at UHN and professor of medical biophysics at the University of Toronto. 8% of our DNA is uh, endogenous heterovirus. So these are acquired during evolution, we get infected and become part of the human lineage. These are silenced by epigenetic modification. Uh, so we keep enough of those across the genome. Uh, if something goes wrong, uh, if you start to lose your genomic in integrity in the, in the chromatin, uh, you activate enough of those and it looks like exactly those fire alarms that you have in the building. They start to create a signal, which is the double cell RNA, you start to activate uh, interferon, which is a cytokine uh, that uh, innate immune system uses to signal that it's a viral infection, and the cell will die or stop proliferate. And they die in a way that activate adaptive immune response. So now the T cells will start to recognize that cell and start to clean. Very recent, we show that when the cancer starts to escape this viral mimic, they can escape by different mechanisms. They can break the double stand RNA, so they have an enzyme that breaks double stand RNA. So we can create drugs against that enzyme. They can digest the double stand RNA, so they have another enzyme that goes and destroys the double stand RNA. Again, if we can block that enzyme, we can induce a very strong antiviral response. We can also think, can we actually detect this cancer very early? Uh, and the general idea, if you can detect in the early stage, uh, perhaps even in pre-malignancy or, or early stage of cancer formation, your chance of treating this patient with success and with less side effect is much higher. We start from the same principle because we know already from thousands of patients that have massive change in DNA methylation. We were able to physically isolate all the methylated DNA in the blood and remove everything else and then sequence this methylated DNA. Uh, by doing this, we can profile the whole methylome uh, without sequencing the whole genome. So it become very cost efficient. You can see across the genome, everywhere where the methylation occurs. So this generates a very large data that you can tell. This profile of DNA methylation means there's some DNA that comes from cancer cells. This profile means everything comes from normal cells. So that means this individual has a cancer, this individual do not have a cancer. Uh, we can do this to monitor therapy response, we can do to classify between different cancer types, and we can do to detect cancer early. Uh, so it works on the whole clinical care continuum.